Okay, so as you may know, I'm Sean Barry, and I'm still the creative director and owner of Booster Rocket Media. I've still been in the business for 30 plus years, and that keeps going. And uh, I'm still making promises I'm not keeping, apparently, because uh, a long time ago I said, oh, don't worry, there's more videos coming, and that's almost a year ago, probably. But uh, a lot's happened. So here's the news. Uh, first of all, this is the first of an ongoing series, I'll get back to that in a moment, of uh, vlog-style presentations that will accompany my uh, standard tutorial videos. I'll get back to that in a moment, including the Design 101. Stand by. So the idea here is that I will put up videos once every week or so uh, and start to build some additional content as I rebuild the channel and kind of reformat uh, because a lot has happened. So that being the point, uh, this promise I will not expect you to accept that I am back and I'm doing videos again. Uh, when you see the videos, I will have kept my promise. And that's all I'll ask of you at this point as somebody who's viewing this video. Uh, I presume that you are a subscriber to the channel and you've said, what, another video? Is he serious? Um, I'll buy it when I see it. And so here you are and continuing to doubt with good reason. So going back over the last couple of years, let me just set a quick tone. First of all, these videos will be about design. They will continue to be about that. They won't be personal vlogs about what I'm eating for breakfast. They will be about the creative journey. And uh, there will still be things that you will get from these videos that will be super important. But these are more like creative director talks where I try to give you back some of the experiences that I've had and turn them into something usable that you can take as a design philosophy that in correspondence with the Design 101 and uh, the more advanced tutorials, that theoretically I paint a more complete picture for you as designers and creatives looking to YouTube as a resource to grow and learn. So we'll call this episode one of the new vlog. So the last six years has been an interesting journey. During that time, I've of course uh, done many videos but um, they obviously trailed off, and one of the reasons that they trailed off, well, hmm, it's a can of worms I'm opening here, so I'm going to be careful about how I do it, because it's a, it's a lot to unpack, and I will talk about these things over time. But if I started to get into all the details now, this video would be far too long. So, uh, for the last six years, it, many of you will remember uh, this guy, Anthony Taylor, a uh, friend and business partner who supplied uh, photos for a lot of my tutorials that you've seen, like these ones. So, some awesome stuff. And uh, he and I, uh, business partners for many years, you know, kind of a, because this is a vlog style, I'll get into a little bit of a life discussion that he and his girlfriend uh, lived with me for a number of years. His girlfriend in and out, uh, she was maybe here for about a year, I think was roughly the amount of time. And uh, she was in and out during those six years, obviously being involved with Anthony. And uh, so the two of them were here uh, with Anthony's three cats for, <laughs> you know, uh, roughly five years. And uh, there's a whole story around that. Uh, he and I go back as friends. He fell on some hard times. I rented this place that was big enough for uh, the two of us, which turned into the three of us and then the cats and all this stuff. So I rented that. And said, so, okay, listen, come and recover yourself financially, work with me, I'll put some money uh, into your life and you can kind of reset. And so we started to do that. And we did that quite successfully. We worked on a lot of projects together. And uh, so then he moved out uh, two years ago, roughly two years ago, and uh, moved back in in January of 2020 this year. Pandemic strikes, he dies. He died at the end of March 2020, not of COVID-19. Several long-term health issues that uh, it was sort of inevitable that this was going to happen. No less sad, however. You'll notice this new studio, this environment that I'm in that you don't recognize. Well, that's because uh, this was the space in this house that I'm renting that uh, my friend Anthony occupied. Now, the idea was always going to be that he would be here for a year, 
he would move out and uh, then I would have the studio space but of course that year turned into five and then uh, for that year in between him leaving and coming back another friend stayed with me that was another uh, whole story on its own and so uh, he moved out uh, early this year Anthony moved back in then he dies uh, I called the ambulance and he didn't die in this room but pretty much this was the last place I saw him so it's interesting and in that I dedicated this studio to my friend and his cats so the art studio Anthony Robert Taylor ART the art studio is what this space is now called it's where I work it's where I create content now and where I will be creating the content uh, for the foreseeable future so uh, interestingly enough one month after the pandemic my brother dies not of COVID-19 he died of cancer my oldest brother uh, and then one month after that cat number one dies three weeks after that cat number two dies these were cats that Anthony left behind when he passed so um, all that happened in the beginning of 2020 on top of the pandemic now during the time just before that uh, June July of 2019 I had to make a decision because I was supporting my my friends and I knew Anthony was coming back I took full-time work because Booster Rocket Media uh, still alive and well uh, at that time in the end of 2019 went through a rough patch where we lost a couple of retainer clients because uh, one of their main clients that we worked on a shift in their business structure they had to consolidate down to one agency we were not part of that move uh, this is a common thing that happens in the world of uh, business as many of you will find out as young designers you'll grow and see these opportunities uh, down the road and things shift those are political not design related our work was solid and uh, but clients have to change and so I took a full-time job for uh, a period of roughly a year and uh, I've left that full-time job and so here I am again now uh, so during that time the full-time job was quite uh, took up all of my time of course I had meant to get back to the videos but when my friend died my brother died I wasn't in the mood immediately and so all of this stuff all this nonsense has all kind of pointed to this one moment where I recently made the decision to go back to Booster Rocket Media retainer clients are back different ones this time but a similar configuration so to keep Booster Rocket Media going I ended up doing a lot of work uh, on the side and so now that the retainer work is coming back uh, I'm digging back into my personal business which now is a sole proprietorship not a partnership because my friend is gone so a lot of that a lot of these events over this <laughs> several years has really uh, shaped me going forward and even how I'm doing this content as you see now so to get back to the topic of the video <laughs> this vlog about design and about creativity uh, things that happen in your life they affect your creative journey they've affected mine for sure and I'll talk more about that in upcoming vlogs and dig a little deeper into it suffice it to say that there's a few things that have changed one is I'm obviously coming back to my videos again I won't ask you to believe that promise you'll just see the videos and then you'll know the other thing is this website uh, you can see back here possibly which is now a new venture for me why photography suddenly when I'm doing all these other design things my friend Anthony was a photographer he taught me a lot about shooting and when he died I thought the best way to honor him was to do good photography so I've taken the lessons that I've learned from him uh, the many years that we spent together shooting projects where he would describe to me what he's doing I would observe by his product so now I'm doing uh, fashion beauty and uh, product photography these are my interests and so uh, the site will grow over time and you'll see more work from me I may talk about that in some videos we'll see uh, but in any case that's the new news that's why I've been absent for a little while and that's what I'm doing now so uh, life is a journey as many songs have said and uh, as you know yourselves and so this journey has shaped what I do what I will do as things do and so one thing I want to do 
moving forward. I thought this would be a, a good way to again commemorate my friend and my brother, by the way, who taught me music, my friend who taught me photography. So I have so much of these things that I have that I want to give back to honor my brother, to honor my friend. So in doing so, I'm going to make the following suggestion. If you have work that you have done and you want a creative director review of it, you want me to critique your work, talk about improvements, here's the following deal. So at this email address, sean at boosterrocketmedia.com, you may send me an email that will come directly to me. Uh, I require the design work that you've done, the brief that you're working by, and what I will do, I will take those two things, I'll read the brief, I'll look at your work, and I'll give you feedback on how well I think you met the brief and where you might have taken your work and made some adjustments. Or uh, I'll just share it with people and say, look at this great work. This is something that you can learn from. So send your stuff with your brief. And the brief could be the email the client asked you for this work. I don't want to get into just anybody's personal layouts. I, it's not enough for me to respond to. I can't criticize design that I don't know what its objective was. So this is important. If you send me the brief and your design work, I will look at it and give you feedback. I want this to become an ongoing thing if people respond to that. So if you as uh, subscribers and viewers uh, want to use that, uh, I will commit to responding to those things. I'll, if for some reason there's too many, which I can't imagine, but if somehow a lot of you suddenly sent me work, I'll be honest about that and I'll tell you which ones I'm going to prioritize first. So uh, that is what I'd like to do as part of this vlog. I may create a separate playlist dedicated just to that. If enough of you respond and enough of you uh, would like me to do that with your design work. But I think that's a really good way for me to give back. I'm finding that uh, in my capacity as a creative director, which is what this last year has been. I've been the creative director of a, of a business here in Toronto. So uh, being able to look at the other creatives' work and review them is a muscle, obviously, that I have from my career. And it reminded me of that because I hadn't done that for a while. I've been working on my own with Anthony for many years. And I didn't have a team under me. Now I do. And so uh, them working with me for the last year, I've been able to coach them, guide them, improve their work. And it reminded me of all those, uh, those things which are so important to your journey to have someone who's done what you're doing for a little longer than you to give you that valuable feedback. And I'd like to do that. And I think that would really start to connect the dots between the videos that I've been doing, the discussions that I've had to camera like this, and the work you're doing. Suddenly, all of it comes together in some middle point where now, maybe, that all makes sense and you can apply these things in real time. So. Uh, Let's give that a try. But in any case, this is the first of what I'll call my personal vlog series. Again, it'll always be about design and creativity, but about the journey itself. Maybe not about a tutorial or a specific type of design or commentary on software, etc. But um, I'll talk about the journey, talk about what I'm working on a little bit, and uh, hopefully it'll be an interesting new type of content. And uh, I won't ask you to believe my promise. You'll see the notifications when the new videos come up and uh, judge me by that. So anyway, again, it's been kind of a crazy year. We've all had a rough time. You looking at me right now through this video, you had a terrible 2020 for sure. So it, it isn't that my pain is unique. And so uh, feel free to share that with me at that email address. Again, sean at boosterrocketmedia.com. I would be happy to hear from you and correspond with you all. I'm not so much involved in uh, Facebook uh, anymore or social media for, for the most part. I have an Instagram account where I do my photography. Um, but I can interact with you there as well. So uh, here's my Instagram handle. Feel free to follow me there, interact there, and uh, email me at sean at boosterrocketmedia.com and I'll be happy to correspond with you all. So again, rambling long video, but I thought this was kind of um, maybe needed, maybe to the point of me not being here before, trying to give that all some context. There was no short, quick way to do that. And so uh, here I am, here this is, and there you go. So uh, until the next video, 
Until the next video, uh, thanks for watching this. Subscribe if you're not, because there's more to come. And uh, I love each and every one of you. Appreciate your support. And uh, I'm here for you, as well as uh, doing the best I can to communicate good creative principles and genuinely help you grow as a person and as a designer. So uh, let's do all of that. Thanks for watching.